Hi everyone, Diane here. Welcome to my studio. I do believe that Chinese New Year is coming up soon and 2023 is going to be the year of the rabbit. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. And I'm going to today uh, paint or try to paint a New Year's card, something along the lines of this. This is my rough sketch at the moment, don't know how it's going to work out. Um, because my next door neighbour is from China. And uh, sadly, just a couple of weeks ago, two days before Christmas, actually, her husband, who was quite young, he was 60, uh, um, suddenly died. And um, we're all still in a bit of a state of shock over that because um, he left behind two cats, which we're now looking after. Uh, da, da, da. Anyway, I thought it would be nice to give her a New Year's card. Um, tradition in Japan, um, China is, I think, a lot of wishing of good luck and of giving of gifts of money and so on and so forth at New Year. So uh, at least we can do is give her a card. So I did a little bit of research online and what I've done is I've, I've got a piece of card. Well, it's not card, it's watercolour paper. It's Canson actually. It is Canson XL sketch paper, watercolour paper, £140. This piece is um, 10 by 7. I have measured the midpoint taken my ruler, um, taken my bone folder, which is here, and scored a line down the middle. And then I folded it in half to make a greetings card. And I've decided I think I'm going to do it landscape. So on the other side, I have drawn a bunny. Now, <clears throat> not quite sure how this is going to work out because I've been practicing and uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and do this in a sort of a um, little bit Chinese kind of way, really, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. So let me find a brush. I've got a round number seven here and I'm going to paint it first of all, what I've drawn. I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to outline it and then I'm going to embellish it somewhat. So let's find my Japanese kurataki paints and I want a dark reddish brown for the rabbit and uh, let's see if this one works. Um, it wants to be red really. I think that actually might do. I haven't tried this one before but that looks quite purpley and reddish. Um, I think that might look quite nice with gold, don't you? So I think we'll give give that a shot. So first thing I'm going to do then is um, use this Kuretake paint to basically fill inside the lines that I've already drawn. If you, if you want this bunny rabbit, um, I will trace it and put it on the website so that you can download it if you want. Um, so I'm just painting, I'll paint round the eye, I think, like that. Uh, yeah, so Chinese New Year, I've been reading about it and what it involves. Apparently, they celebrate with firecrackers, make a lot of noise to frighten away any dragons that might come looking for trouble. So that's the reason for the firecrackers. I had a holiday in Mexico once and they seem to be very fond of firecrackers there too. And uh, I don't think we had one decent night's sleep actually the whole time we were there because they were letting off firecrackers all night long. Does anyone know why the Mexican 
population is so fond of firecrackers. I don't know, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm just painting solid. I'm not making any effort to give any texture or anything. This is just going to be painted as evenly as possible. It doesn't have to be all that even, but These um, Kuretake paints are somewhat opaque if you use them fairly thickly, although they will come out fairly transparent if you dilute them. So they're possibly the best that you can use for something like this where you want to cover as fairly darkly as possible. Okay, I'm getting there. And I think the year of the rabbit, the um, they have uh, uh, special flowers and special numbers and so on for the different years of the of the uh, horoscope of the um, of China. And the the flowers are lily and jasmine for rabbit. Yes, and. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, sort of, what would you call it, um, stylized flowers, lily and jasmine, something like that, on the actual rabbit. And the, uh, um, the, the lucky numbers for, for this year are three, four and nine. There we are. So that's him, and now he needs to dry. Um, I'll just bring his foot down a little bit more there. Okay, so we'll let him dry and then I'll rub out the lines that, uh, that I don't need. Okay, so he is now dry and um, I'm going to, I've got a, a Tombow a Fudenosuke brush pen here, which does nice, um, <clears throat> thick and thin, or thin and thick strokes. And um, I think that will be quite nice for um, outlining the rabbit. So I'm just going to give him some expression first before we uh, Um, before we put the flowers on him, the, you know, what do you call it? Uh, embellishments. Anyhow. And I'm going to try to go round him and give him some nice outlines. Some thick and some thin. And then we'll do some curls and follow his jawline like that. And then curl up. It's a very graphic way of depicting this this animal if you were born in the year of the rabbit you're supposed to be a gentle loving person 
which is nice. And uh, also, uh, yeah, caring and and what else? Um, yeah, gentle and loving is make good doctors and nurses apparently. Okay, so so far so good. And uh, then the next thing I want to do is I want to, um, yeah, embellish it, I think, next. So I'm going to find a small brush, uh, smallest I've got, which is a, what is this? I don't know, it's a two or something. And we will find our gold paints. This is the Kaliri. Lero um, pearl colours. Oh dear, it's been one of those days. I'm going to pick up some gold. I'm not sure which colour gold is going to be the best. What do you think? One or the other of these. And, um, right, so we have. Some little lines. I'm following a sort of fairly traditional design. This, let me put some flowers. These are like jasmine flowers. And a bigger one here. I think some kinds of jasmine has four petals and I think that's what we had here. That didn't go very well, that one. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And uh, I'll put some dots here. And some bigger ones here. A flower. And here too. Okay, it's going okay. I think it's going okay. Then on the tail end here, we're going to have a three, uh, it's like a lotus, I think is the idea of this. There we are. And then, oh, I missed a line. On my black pen again. It's the line here. That's it. And we will put gold here. Gold dots on his tummy. Like that. And then back here, I think this is another lotus. I think that's the idea. Oh, 
I would have done this with a gold pen probably, but my pen has run out and I keep forgetting to order a new one. So, to use a brush, it's not so easy. Those pens don't last very long though, as we said. They dry out fairly quickly. Or in the case of that particular one, it completely ran out. It actually dry, didn't dry out. It uh, exhausted itself. I don't think they put very much ink in them, to be honest. Okay, and I will uh, probably have to come in once that's dry with a bit more black. Outline that. And I think I'll put... Mm. Maybe we have a bit more dots there. And that's about that for the rabbit, I think. And then we're going to put some flowers. So, ooh, let me see. How should we do this? I wanted to put uh, put some writing across here, but we'll we'll put some. some gold and they will be red because I'll come in with some red afterwards for these flowers. some red. going to be very brave and I'm going to try to, oh no, not that pen, try to um, do the, uh, the Japanese, Chinese symbol for rabbit up here. I'm sure this isn't the right way to actually do it. It probably has to be done in different order. There we are. It's pretty much roughly what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to paint 2023 20, here. I hope that's the right year. And then down here. Happy. New. Yeah. And this is definitely a first for me. Chinese rabbit. New year. So there we are, Happy New Year. And I think I will leave it at that. Could probably put another 
flower somewhere around, but it doesn't look too bad like that, I don't think. And I fold in half. And there we are. Happy New Year, Chinese style. Hope you enjoyed that. Phew, I might go in actually and uh, just add a few dark centers to those flowers. So when you see the thumbnail painting photo, you'll probably notice a slight alteration there. But apart from that, I think I'll probably leave it like that. So I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much for being with me. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you again tomorrow, probably. Bye for now, everybody. Bye bye.